What's up, my name is Alex Costa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk about men's fashion, grooming, fitness, dating advice, and of course, men's hairstyles. So if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and join our family of almost 3 million subscribers. And guys, today's video is definitely a fun one that I've been thinking about doing for a while, but for whatever reason, I just kept pushing it back. But today is the day, all right? I am going to rate YouTubers' hairstyles, and I'm gonna be brutally honest. I'm not gonna hold back. I like the guys on this list, but if their hairstyle sucks, you're gonna hear about it. I have an amazing list of YouTubers from Logan Paul, David Dobrik, to Aaron Marino, uh, we're talking about Marquez Brownlee and, and so many others. But before I begin, I just wanted to announce that my hair product brand, Forte Series, is gonna have the biggest sale we've ever had starting November 14th. Did you hear that? The biggest sale we've ever had. And that's because we just turned one. We launched one year ago and we're giving you amazing deals on our hair products. So if you want incredible hair, then click the first link in the description to get notified as soon as the sale goes live so you can try the Forte Series products that everyone is talking about. First on the list, Logan Paul. <laughs> like it or not, Logan Paul's hairstyle is definitely iconic, right? It's the first thing that you notice when you look at him, especially back in the day when he was just starting to blow up. It was long and messy and, and pretty bad, like bad enough that people would remember him because of his bad hairstyle and he knew that and that's probably why he did it. He wanted people to remember it, but it was horrible. But you know, after the infamous so sorry video about the Japanese forest craziness, which by the way, I was working at YouTube when this happened. I was a YouTube employee and let's just say it was a crazy day in the office. So after that, he kind of went away for a few weeks and came back with a new hairstyle. No, not that one. This one, shorter, more mature. You know, the hairstyle was more mature. The content, um, I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. But nowadays, Logan is rocking this bushy beard, a pretty wavy fringe, and in my opinion, it looks much better. You know, it's a quarantine type hairstyle. You can see it's kind of shaggy, but I mean, look, man, I'm not one to talk. I'm growing mine out right now too, so I think it's fine. I'm not sure why he's always rocked the fringe, though. Maybe his hairline is receding, right? Maybe. Maybe he just likes it. Either way, definitely a huge improvement from his early days. Next on the list, Mr. Beast, Jimmy. Jimmy has blown up over the past couple of years. Props to him, he's killing it. But his hairstyle is definitely not there, man. It's flat, it's boring, it's a little outdated, and I'm not a huge fan. Having said that, I don't think he cares that much. You can see he probably just uses his fingers to brush it to the side and give it some shape. But man, I would love to see Jimmy change his hairstyle a bit. But uh, you know, from man to man, Jimmy, look. You, just got, you got potential, dude. You're a good looking dude. And it's something that we talk a lot about here on the channel. You know, Once you start exploring with your look, ex especially your hair, you can go from here to here like that. And I can tell he has nice hair. He's 22, he has a lot of hair. So Jimmy, if you're listening, I'll hook you up with some Forte Series products on the house. I don't want any promo. I don't even want you to tell anyone how you did it. All right, I just wanna watch one of your upcoming videos and see it and be like, that's it. He is wearing Forte. <laughs> like I said, guys, Forte is having the biggest sale event starting November 14th. We are gonna give you 30% off your entire order. Plus, when you spend $70 or more, you're gonna get a free dop kit here like this one. I'm so excited because this looks awesome and it is yours free with your order of 70 bucks or more. And guys, the reviewers have spoken, all right? The molding paste is amazing. When we finished this product, I was blown away because we wanted to make it great, of course, but we ended up creating a formula that was much better than we expected. It was definitely one of those wow moments, and I'm so happy that everyone else feels the same way. If you haven't tried not only the molding paste, but also the new clarifying shampoo, the hydrating conditioner, the oil, and of course, the texture clay, this is the time to do it. 30% off the entire store starting on the 14th. If you want crazy extreme hold with loads of texture, the clay is your product. If you want medium to high hold, a more flexible, restylable, natural look, the paste is the way to go. So go to the Forte Series website, it's listed below, forteseries.com, and sign up to get notified as soon as the sale starts to make sure that you don't miss out. 
We're not gonna run another sale like this again. I'm telling you, it's not gonna happen for months, probably not until the end of next year, 2021. So if you, if you want your hair products, you don't wanna miss out, all right? Of course, thank you guys so much for making this launch of our new products a, a big hit. You guys are amazing and I couldn't be happier. So thank you so much for supporting me and my brand. Next on the list, the one and only David Dobrik. You know, one of the most successful creators ever gives away cars and money, you know, but his hairstyle, I'm not sure. It kind of reminds me of old Logan Paul from back in the day. It's really wild, much like David's content, right? It's fast paced, it's crazy, and it's funny. David doesn't seem to care that much about his appearance in general, kind of like Mr. Beast, you know? He doesn't really look like he's trying, and that's fine. And just like Mr. Beast, I would love to see what David's hair would look like if he got a proper haircut and styled it nicely. He also wears a hat for like 90% of his videos, which Leads me to assume, again, an assumption that he might not like his hair or might not like styling his hair in general. Even though I'm not a huge fan of his hairstyle, I am a fan of David's. I think his content is super funny. His video with Borat was insane, man. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Borat and it was everything that I've ever wanted to see from Borat himself. So thank you, David, for making that happen. That was incredible. All right, let's talk about Aaron Marino, also known as Alpha M and his hairstyle. You know, Aaron has been creating content on YouTube for 11 years. He is an OG and he's killing it. I consider myself an OG and I've been on YouTube for nine. So he's got me beat. And his hairstyle is great. You know, he's got volume, there's texture, it's all there. His hairline is great. He definitely has plenty of hair. The one thing that I would say is he's been on YouTube for 11 years and his hairstyle hasn't changed. I mean, you can go back to his first YouTube videos and it's virtually the same thing. So come on, Aaron, I would love to see some length some different styling, experiment with a new do. And I get it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it looks good, but when you talk about men's hair in videos, and he does, and he obviously knows a lot about hair, then it would be really cool to see him change it up and experiment. This next guy has also been on YouTube forever, 12 years. He's an absolute OG, Marcus Brownlee, MKBHD, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, tech guru on YouTube. I love this because we can literally go back 12 years. It's kind of like a diary that he has, you know, and see his hairstyle back then. You can follow the whole journey up until today. And he's had a buzz cut, a fade for most of the time, but then he recently switched it up and I'm a fan. He grew his hair out a bit. It definitely added volume. It changed it up. He could grow it a little bit longer, you know, and get braids and all that. But the thing is, it's not really his style. I can't picture Marquez with braids, you know? It's not really his type of look. So the hairstyle he has now looks amazing and is on brand for him. There's volume, he usually has a fresh fade on the sides and the back, and I've even seen him rock a faux hawk type of hairstyle before, which I thought was awesome. I'll try to put it here if I find it. It's very European of him, but that's the kind of guy he is, you know, and it works for him, it really did. Would I like to see him in braids or longer, edgy type of hair. Yeah, of course, but I don't think that's his brand or his look and that is completely fine. Next on the list, sister James Charles. James has pretty damn good hair, man. I mean, when it comes to going all out and finding your true potential, when it comes to looks, he knows what he's doing. I like that he changes it up. I like that he gets it colored once in a while. He dyes it in different shades. He styles it in different ways. I think it's dope. There have been some videos and tweets and whatnot about him losing hair and going bald, but just looking at his recent videos, we can zoom in here and I can confidently say that that's not the case as far as I can see here. His hair is great. I even like the lines that he gets once in a while, you know, the, the, with the fade. And we all know that can be a little bit cringy sometimes because, you know, it's a little edgy, but because of his style, which is obviously unconventional. It works, it looks good, it's edgy. Next up, my boy, Jose Zuniga TMF. And like Aaron Marina, Jose is another great men style YouTuber. Jose's hair transformation has been pretty fun to watch. You know, I, I went back on his channel and I don't know if you've ever done that, but here's what you're gonna find. Jose, he pretty much had no hair. He had a very, very short buzz cut, almost bald basically, and man, Jose, it just didn't work, it just didn't work. You know, it obviously wasn't a great look on him and it's really cool to see him evolve and change that hairstyle as he evolved on YouTube. 
His hair got longer, he started actually styling it really well, and it looked a lot better. Now in this video here, he it still wasn't great. You can see that he was experimenting, trying to figure out what he should do with it. Much like what I was doing back in 2015 or so with the slick back look, it just didn't look great on me either. But recently, Jose really stepped it up. He goes from a wavy quiff to with plenty of volume to a messier curly hairstyle, which in my opinion is what looks best on him. I think it's unique. It has texture, volume, it looks great. But even though I like this curly hairstyle best on him, I, I like it even more that he switches it up once in a while. It is very refreshing. Guys, here's another reminder that on November 14th, we are going to run the biggest Forte series sale ever. Don't miss out, sign up to be reminded. Just go to ForteSeries.com so you don't miss out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, it's definitely something different for me. I, I, I like all the YouTubers on this list and I, I watch their content. I think they're amazing, they're very successful and I just wanted to talk about their hairstyle. I don't think I offended anyone. I was just being honest. My thoughts on their hairstyle. Should I do another one of these? Which YouTubers should I include? Let me know in the comment section down below. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram. I've been posting there every single day. Every single day. It's at Alex Costed, listed in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.